guys. I hope you all are doing well. It was great to see a bunch of you last night at the first Summer Hangout Tour event at Churchville Golf last night. If you couldn't make it, we definitely missed you. Uh, just a reminder though that there are a few more events and opportunities throughout the summer. And so our next one's going to be Sunday, July 26th at 6 o'clock p.m. at the Promenade Grill in Haver de Grace. So we're just gonna grab some food or ice cream and then we'll, we'll hang out around the promenade or the nearby park up on the hill there. Um, we'll have some can jam, cornhole, spike ball, frisbee, football, soccer, just a bunch of stuff to do, or you can just hang out. And so we hope to see you there. Now, as many of you know, I am a Pittsburgh Steelers fan. Obviously, here we go. And one of my favorite players who used to play for them was named James Harrison. I mean, this dude was a beast. And one of the crazy things about James Harrison was his workout regimen. The guy would work out six days a week and actually on his, what it was supposed to be his rest day, he would still do a workout, but he would just do a uh, pool workout. And he was known to work out at 6 a.m. on the morning after a game. And not only were his workouts crazy, but the way he took care of his body was crazy too. It was reported that he would spend $500,000 a year on his body. He would take naps in hyperbolic chambers. He would uh, get acupuncture and massages on a regular basis. He had an insane vitamin and supplements regimen. He had trainers and he had doctors and person, a personal chef and a masseuse. And in an interview, he was asked why he goes to such extremes. And he, he simply said, my body makes me money. He was disciplined with that mindset that his discipline would lead him to receive a prize. Well, I want you to listen to these words from Paul in 1 Corinthians 9, 24 through 27. It says, Do you not know that in a race all the runners run, but only one receives the prize? And so run that you may obtain it. Every athlete exercises self-control in all things. They do it to receive a perishable wreath or a perishable prize but we exercise self-control to receive an imperishable prize. So I do not run aimlessly. I do not box as one beating the air, but I discipline my body and keep it under control, lest after preaching to others, I myself would, should be disqualified. So what has one of the biggest struggles over the past four months been? I know there's a, there's a bunch, and you might say, you know, it's been the isolation or the uncertainty or lost opportunities, uh, or changing plans. And those are all definitely true, and I don't wanna discredit any of those things as struggles for you guys. But I would also add that one of the biggest struggles, and one that you may not even be aware that creates an issue for you, is a lack of consistency, or a lack of routine. And to amplify that, take the, the weird schedule of quarantine, and then couple that with summer, and you get just wonky schedules, and lazy routines, or no routines at all, and all of that leads to a lack of discipline, and specifically physical self-control and spiritual discipline. You might be sleeping in until 10 or 11 or 12 o'clock or staying up until 3 or 4 or 5 a.m. and playing video games or on social media for hours and hours. And we go about our days like that just aimlessly with no purpose and no goal, kind of like a boxer who is just beating the air, accomplishing nothing growing or improving in no way. And I would venture to guess that not only has there been a lack of healthy routine in some of your lives, but it has also led to some sinful routines, maybe looking at inappropriate things on the internet or having unhealthy interactions online or through texting or FaceTime. Or maybe it's gossiping or maybe it's being irritable and grumbling or being standoffish with your parents or your siblings or unhealthy and maybe even sinful eating habits. And at what expense? Struggling to spend time reading God's word or struggling to have focused time praying or failure to have silence and solitude, but filling every moment with some type of noise like Netflix or music or social media or gaming. And then we wonder why we're not growing spiritually, why we feel far from God or why we don't see any fruit growing in our lives, why we're not experiencing the prize of our relationship with Jesus. Now, I'm not saying that we have to discipline ourselves to earn favor with God. This is not about earning God's love or attention or blessing, but I am saying this. James Harrison could see a prize in front of him. He, and actually, he'd already had an NFL contract during this. He, 
He was already making millions of dollars, and because of that prize, he continued to discipline himself to live within the contract that he had already been given. But his prize is perishable. His money will go away, he will die someday, and he cannot take that with him. Matthew 6, 19 through 20 says, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth where moth and rust destroy and where thieves break in and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. But if our faith is in Jesus Christ as Savior and Lord, if we are followers of Jesus, then our prize is imperishable. It's incorruptible. It cannot be tarnished. It cannot be destroyed. It cannot be stolen. It is perfect and eternal salvation and glorified perfection for all of eternity. And because that is my prize in Jesus, I willingly discipline my body. I run both physically and spiritually in such a way that I can obtain what is already mine in Jesus. I don't go about my days aimlessly, but with self-control and purpose so that I may experience all of the fullness of my living, my life-giving relationship with Jesus. So where have you lacked discipline? Whether it's physical discipline or spiritual discipline, and how has your life been affected? What changes will you make today to be more disciplined, going to bed earlier so that, you, um, so that you're rested in a way that you can have more self-control? Or do you need to set an alarm and wake up early so that you can read and pray without distraction? Do you need to discipline your body by making war against a sin? Do you need to exercise and change your diet so you can have more energy and endurance to serve and love others? Do you need to get on track with a reading plan and stick to it? Do you need to, to specifically schedule times alone with no noise to think and read and pray? Do you need to make a goal to reach out to a couple of people a week to ask them how they're doing or to pray for them? Do you need to seek accountability for your attitude and your actions? How will you be more disciplined to pursue and experience the richness and fullness of the imperishable prize that you have in Jesus Christ? 1 Timothy 4 says, train yourself for godliness, for while bodily training is of some value, godliness is of value in every way as it holds promise for the present life and also the life in, to come. Keep a close watch on yourself.